Since the one video we did did so well, Why Are Men Single? I figured let's do another one like that. Okay. And so I'm going to take you on a journey through a college of women being interviewed. Okay. How much money do you think a guy should make per year? If I'm like dating them, it'd be nice if they were at least making a hundred thousand. I have no clue. Like a million, two million? Okay. <laughs> we're at ASU, you know. So you're not gonna find them here. <laughs> She just said, I don't know, maybe one, two million? Is it satire? <laughs> no, it's not. I want to say that they don't understand what a million dollars means or what a hundred thousand dollars means. When I was in school, I remember I was taking a sociology class and they said that in, in someone's lifetime, a lot of people don't even make a hundred thousand in their lifetime. I'm After sure. taxes. I'm sure. And these women are saying a hundred thousand. Like, like, it's no big deal. I'm really, really curious at, you know what? She should have had a follow-up question. $100,000? Oh, okay. What job do you think he would have that would allow him to make $100,000? What job pays a million dollars? I'm asking the questions. What job pays a million dollars? <laughs> what job pays $100,000 for, for a 20-something-year-old? They think yeah, they're living in yeah. Silicon Valley? Okay, are you dating, like, older men? significantly older men? No, it seems like they want ones in their 20s. So then why the fuck are you expecting this kind of bank? That It's un, un, unbelievable. Two Maybe million. it's what their parents say. Two million dollars. You need to have a man who makes this much money. Oh, you need to have a man that makes a million dollars. Two million dollars. A million? I feel like she was just, she was joking. Like, That's why I said it has to be satirical. Pranking me. It has to be satire. Okay, first of all, can I just say <sighs> for one second that this young lady in the white is giving off a lot of vibes what's the vibe you're getting mean girl vibes you're getting mean girl yeah oh i'm getting look at me look at me look at me i want to fuck i want to fuck well yeah that's what i'm getting as a woman if i were to be walking th i'd be like she looks like on wednesdays she wears pink like that's what she wears to go to a club not to go to i mean even if she is wearing sweatpants underneath what is the you want people to look at you mm-hmm you're attracting the wrong attention. And mm -hmm. I'm very curious how much you think she's gonna say. I'm gonna say like 200 grand. I'm being generous too. At least, okay. at least five, 500,000. Someone that you would consider wanting to be with the rest of your life. 300, okay. Three figures. Okay, so why is that? Oh, just three? Just cause like, that's a stable income I'd say. Three, what, wait, three figures? You're I don't, I don't think she understood that. Did she but, know what figures are? Because <laughs> three figures, that's only like... That's like just under a thousand dollars. Yeah. Unless she means six figures. If you're making less than a thousand dollars in a year... No, I think she think meant six figures. <laughs> My rent is 700. I would be dead. <laughs> is she talking monthly? Is she talking weekly? Maybe she's talking about a different... Maybe she's not uh. talking about... Maybe she's not talking yearly. Maybe she's talking like... Did all these women get out of the gym? Right. What is going on here? Yeah. Not a lot. No, that's uh, five hundred is like normal. Uh, on a good day, yeah. Ha. I mean, it depends. <laughs> she had to ask this question. Is that normal? She had to ask this question. Is that normal? You're going to college. How do you not know this? Is that right? Because my loans are like so much more than that. <laughs> Oh, you know for a fact mommy and daddy are paying for for her. Oh, boy. I hope you're not going for finance. Bless your heart. She's going for finance, I bet. <laughs> Is that a lot? 500000 Is that a lot? How much were the lip injections? I don't think she got lip injections. Oh, if she, she definitely did, does. If, if she did, that's a bad job, baby. That's a bad job. Right there. You got, you got ripped off. Right there. Big that's, time. Not, that's not her natural lip right there. A lot were expensive. Yeah. Mills. Mills. Oh. Mills. <laughs> dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Does bang. she have a boyfriend? You see, she's got a boyfriend. We're expensive. We're expensive. That's why I'm wearing this cheap ass hoodie and talking with you right now. First of all, that looks like a girl who would pay $500 for a hoodie that looks like you can get that off the clearance rack at Target. Easy. I want to dive into this woman's head for a second. Shall we? Now she's thinking. We're expensive. We deserve a man who makes a lot of money, over six foot, in his mid-twenties, maybe late-twenties. I mean, if we're stretching it out, but we're expensive. So he's gonna have to pay for everything. And 
I'm not going to do anything except for go to dinners with Paolo, go to the art gallery, go see a show at the Met, and have a good time, get some drinks later on. Why are you in college? <laughs> Stop. <What's that? laughs> okay, well. Why are you in school? What are you doing? My assumption of the reason why this woman is in college is because her parents Made looked her. at her, thought, damn, she doesn't have a chance in hell out in the real world. Well, she better goddamn at least get an education. Because once we're dead, I mean, she could live maybe for months off of what we leave her, but that won't be enough because she's expensive. Mills. So they force her to go to college. They're paying for it all. And she's probably taking liberal arts. You know that these people don't manage their money. They don't budget any no, money. No, they use their parents' credit card. Any money they have is either given to them. All the money that they have is completely disposable. Completely disposable. Every penny they have. Okay, what's pocket change to you? What Are what you amount, asking me? Yeah, what amount of money would you say is pocket change? 75 cents? I mean, I'd say anything like under a dollar or two, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I'd say. I had a friend at one point when he was really spoiled and arrogant and had no idea what money meant who would say that pocket change was 10, 20 bucks. <laughs> right? And having the conversation of like, that's not what most people consider pocket change was a very hard discussion to have. What happens when they got, get out in the real world? Mm-hmm. Because well. you're thinking, you know, after college, what do they do after college? Mm-hmm. Well, they have to get an apartment. They have to get a job, right? It's which, which going to pay them shit. So their parents are going to have to pay for their apartment and stuff like that. But when do the parents finally go, I know when it is, when she finds a husband. Are you going to go for one of your, like, parents friend's like son who also has money from his parents i mean who the fuck is making millions of dollars yeah that's it ceos of companies and their children that's it that's it there's not that many but their CEOs children aren't children. the one making the fucking millions it's their no. parents mm-hmm. you want to date their dad what's going on that's why i said you have to, if you want someone who makes this amount of money you have to date a significant amount older than what they are going to want out of someone, age-wise. Yeah. Oh my. Or mind. out of out of even like a aesthetic. If they want someone who's fit, that's not how a lot of people who have money are. If they if they're swimming in money, mm. they're okay with being fat. <laughs> I would love to watch this like, ten years later. Mm-hmm. Let's interview them again and see how right. far they've come. <laughs> now Let's see how then. far they've come. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. I don't really care. So if a guy made. 30k a year is that something you're okay with yeah th- i think that would be great like That's your husband oh shit. yeah i think i would be fine if it was my husband i'd be in love with him so yeah they had to find a chick with a skateboard it was a long board yeah we we're way more rational people <laughs> in order <laughs> to get a logical answer from someone like, like a realistic answer well to be fair 30k is a little low it's a little low if you're looking to have someone like marriage wise, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's but in I, college, like like mm-hmm. this, she was the most stable-minded person. Out of most realistic, any, yeah. Because if you're if you're like, okay, would you marry this man if he's making thirty thousand dollars? You're, you're gonna be struggling. Yeah, you're both gonna yes. be working your asses off. And you're, you're probably going never to gonna struggling. see each other. And good luck having kids. But she Ooh, said, she said, good luck well, having kids. She said, well, if I said I'd marry him, I must have really loved him if he's making thirty k. So you probably so, yes. already had the discussion. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that, I mean, that, I think that's great. That's how I feel. Minimum six figures, no matter what the situation is. Right. We have so, an expensive lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have an expensive lifestyle? Oh wait, I'd be dead. I'd be living in a van down by the river. Who's paying for your lifestyle right now? Daddy and mommy. Do you think any intelligent man in his right mind would look at you, hear you speak, and think, yeah, she's worth that much money? Are you fucking insane? Are you insane? Listen, your parents have to love you, honey. That's why they spoiled you. No man has to love you. And certainly no man is going to pick someone like you who thinks that she's amazing. But, like, I look at her and I don't see anything. Like, what makes me say, wow, 
Wow. Now, that lady right there, now that's a 1% woman for a man. She <sighs> is going to be a good wife. No. What's the first thing she said? I have an expensive lifestyle. What, what do you prefer your guy should make per year? And you don't even say anything. If someone were to ask me, say, how much should your woman make per year? Oh, I, I really do feel like a stable income is like, I don't know, 20, 40,000, depending on how much you're really, like if you're working, da 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 you know. But I make my own money. I don't really care what the other person makes. As long as you can keep yourself afloat and be independently yourself. Mm. Here, here's, um, here's an automatic, like, I hate using the word red flag because it's so overused. <laughs> so here is how you know how to tell if a woman is narcissistic. It's when you ask a question like this and her follow-up after the answer is, I run away. <laughs> <laughs> run away. No, 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 this no. is the type of woman who will ask why. Why? Always arguing. Demanding. Never gets what she wants. It's never enough. Good She's a fucking headache. Good luck to you. Bless your heart. Run. I'd rather marry Michael Myers. I'd rather just die alone. No, I mean, I totally understand. We got to get good skincare routine. You know, the whole whole nine yards. 100,000. 120k. Oh, Even I hate when ladies do that. I hate that. Did you see that? Mm. Okay. Well, hold on a second. Okay, because she was shorter, right? Oh. She was shorter, so she was like down here when they, when she asked the question, right? You know what's she was sad like, is you're not that much smaller than me still. <laughs> when she asked the questions, like she had said 100k, right? 100k. And the girl went 120. Like one upping. Uh huh. I just wanted to point Absolutely out. Absolutely one-upping. It's so disgusting. The first girl, when she said 100,000, she did this little nose thing. Like, oh, even I know I'm ridiculous. <laughs> Bitch. You think that one man on YouTube is going to see that you said $100,000 and be like, <laughs> baby, I'm right here. No. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. You're going to get a Visa gift card. 20 bucks. Why do all college girls look the same? Because uh, they all have the same... Lifestyle, expensive lifestyle. Mindset when it comes to that stupid shit. Oh yeah, they do they gotta travel in. in droves. They have to fit in. They have to be. They have to one up. They have to be better. They have to be the best. And I don't understand. They have to get the like guy that. who makes more money. They have to have the best maybe, life. Mm-hmm. Like maybe like one twenty. Okay. Yeah, I would say like eighty to one fifty over a hundred k. Once you get to a certain age, like I don't know. I'm also kind of like gold digger, so. She kind of looks like the girl who sells drugs on campus. You know she definitely what? took a handful of zannies. She has this much more respect for at least admitting she's a gold digger. <laughs> the other girls were just stupid about it. Okay. Has any man ever answered the question to why he would date a woman like that? You know, a woman like these women who are completely delusional. Not that I know of right now. Um, I'm definitely going to look. Because I am fascinated. With her, I'm sure she's dating old dudes with money. She's being a side, side chick. I don't mean Hard. like just sleeping with them because, I mean, I get the whole sleeping with them mm -hmm. thing because you don't have to hear them talk really. But mm -hmm. like, what's the reasoning behind dating and being in a relationship with one of these women? I don't understand it. I'd rather be single and save my money. So I, I really feel like it's a lot of usually the older dudes wanting someone younger. Older meaning what? Oh, I mean, like, for her, she's probably dating someone in his 40s. He's got this 19, 20-year-old, and he's super excited about it. Oh, okay. That's my opinion. No, um, I'm planning on just, like, supporting myself um, with my income, so I don't really plan on being supported by the person that I'm dating. What is the lowest you would go, though? 500000 I could have, a, like, a, a nice, like, subtle life with, like, a 200000 <gasps> Yeah, I would have a really nice solid life, too, with someone who made $200,000 a year. Thank you very much. I think that anyone should be able to have a nice, comfortable life with someone who makes $200,000 a fucking year. Don't you think? She said comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah, I think anyone would be comfortable. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Even a combined household of $200,000 is a lot of fucking money. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Even $100,000 is like absolutely ridiculous. I would settle, for, like, I, I'm in my 30s, okay, late 30s. I would settle for f- 40, 80 combined. That, that would be enough. Yeah. That would be enough. I think I'd be good. I'd, I'd be good. I don't, I don't need to go on fucking vacations and do all this garbage shit just so they can post shit online so strangers could look at them and be like, oh, you have it all. And then you just make everyone else feel so depressed because they don't have it all when really you don't really have it all. You don't even have it all upstairs. Not for, not for a second. Guarantee you their personalities are flaccid. <laughs> yeah. 100%. <sighs> Oh. All they care about is what they have and what they can get. Man, this video's long. Like, okay. Normal, great, yeah. What's the lowest, though, that you would go for? Uh, a half a million? I'm sticking with 100,000. I, I would agree, 100,000, preferably. I mean, as long as they're stable, like, have a good job, like, a car and a house, I, I don't think, like, money cares. Like, it's not that high on my list, I'd say. Money's not high on my list, but he has to have a house and a car. That costs money. I don't think she means that in that sense. I think she means if he can get himself in place A to place B, if he has a roof over his head, and if he can sustain himself, then she's good. Does that make sense? But I get what you're saying. Like, those things all cost money. So he has to bring something in. Can you live in a shack? And drive I, a beater van? <laughs> you yeah, know, that's, that's a good question. Can you live in a trailer park? Is that okay? He can drive a beater, you know, live in a trailer. Mm-hmm. Trailers are fine. Bet you should say no. <laughs> it's 65000 a year because then, like, if they're young, they have room for improvement and they can get promotions and work their way up. Wow, she thinks you started 65 <laughs> in, in your 20s? Where are these men? I don't know. I want to know how to become There's got to like be, one like, a people. handful. How do I become one of these people? I'd like to make like 60, 70 K a year. That'd be cool. Yeah, but they don't know how they make the money. They just want them to make the money. Tell me how to make the money. I don't know how you fucking make the money. Well, it, when you tell me how to make the money. I'll go make the money. Go make the money. They don't fucking know either. They're tell fucking me. as flabbergasted and baffled as we are by this level of delusion. I think it's ridiculous. I think. How can you be so immature? <sighs> it's self-inflated. How can you put so much weight on someone you don't even know exists yet? How does that even happen? Comfortable with making more money than answer. your guy or no? The guy who's talking to told me women shouldn't be working, so. The guy she's talking to. Let me just take a guess. Let me take a guess here. That he's just trying to get into your pants and then he's bouncing. Or he's super controlling and the reason he says women shouldn't work is so you don't go talk to anyone else. The guy is lying through his fucking teeth. He just wants to get in between your legs, in and out. Done deal. Uh-huh. See ya. Adios. Women shouldn't work anyways. What? Dude, he's just agreeing with her so we can get in her pants. What? No, I wouldn't mind if I was making more money as long as they're making a lot. I think we both need to be rich. Then we can, you know, both have a really nice lifestyle. I'm asking the question, how much, huh? what, what, what is rich? Her, like, acceptance level, what was like 100, 100, 200K? That was the accepted uh-huh. level? Yeah. I'm sorry, you're making 100k, you're fucking rich to me, you're goddamn rich to me! Yeah, you're living very well. And for her, that's like, what, acceptable? Comfy. Just comfy. Listen, would, men, would you tell me why why, why you would date any women like this? Because I am really curious. Comment below and would let us you, know. Would you date any of these women? Hit the like button, you better subscribe, motherfuckers! Be nice Bye! Anyone. You don't want to finish this? No. <laughs> no, I've had enough of this headache. These women are a nightmare. Yeah, they are. I'd rather get my fucking cooter caught in a bear claw.